hello and welcome guys in this tutorial we will be learning about inferential statistics and descriptive statistics okay so you may frequently need a lot of data for your anal analysis right which could you know take a lot of time and a lot of resources to gather in such cases you are restricted to you know using a smaller sample of data rather than you know entire data set so these kind of situation frequently occur at you know large corporation like amazon flipkart so so let's say for instance the flipkart quality control division is interested in learning what percentage of you know their stock in the in the warehouse is flawed so the flipkart quality you know department can simply check a sample of thousand product you know instead of all of them which could be a lot okay and then uh, to determine the defect defect rate for the sample that is you know proportion of different uh, defective products so the team can you know directly in for <coughs> what is the defect rate uh, is you know for all the product in the warehouse based on the defect rate of this sample so this process of inferring insight from sample data is called inferential statistics okay so you have a corpus of a lot of product and you took you know five or six or you can say ten product and you you know made some analysis and then you find out that defect rate is this and simply using that value you can infer then uh, th uh, that is called inferential statistics now in descriptive statistics what we do is uh, we summarize or you can say describe the characteristics of the data set okay so uh, you know descriptive statistics concept of consist of three basic categories to measure uh, first is measure of central tendency measure of variability or you can say spread and then frequency distribution so you know descriptive statistics you know describe how to summarize the basic feature of you know data set found in a given study and you know presented in a summary that describe the data sample and its measurement it helps you know analysts to understand the data better okay so the method for you know measuring dispersion are you know most uh, you know used uh, 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 that is called standard deviation okay and uh, <coughs> the standard deviation is calculating uh, calculated by you know multiplying the total square de deviation from the mean by the total number of observation and this formula is used to you know define as uh, define you know uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, it will tell you about you know how data is spread over you know means okay and the summary measure uh, you know uh, also called as central tendency measure of central tendency also you know known as measure of center or you can say measure of central location aims to you know describe the entire uh, data set or you can say and en entirely all the data that you have you know in your data frame or you can say anything with a single value that correspond to you know middle or you can say center of its distribution and that is what you know you will see uh, in the central tendency method of dispersion so these type of thing you basically check so it, uh, in descriptive statistics the only thing is you will be using one particular value to define the whole data set but in this inferential statistics you will be you know taking sample and then based on that you will be you know concluding some inference so that is what uh, descriptive and st inferential statistics thank you